right, so today we're going deep, diving deep into the story of uh, someone you definitely know, mm -hmm. Wendy Williams. You know, the Wendy Williams, right, from the Wendy Williams show. Right, right. So, um, you know, we all remember her, super, super energetic, really opinionated, always had something to say about everybody. Oh, for sure. But uh, things have changed. You know, she's been dealing with some uh, some pretty tough stuff. Dementia, actually. Yeah. It's rough. It's it's so sad to see, you know, yeah. this vibrant personality who we all knew from TV now going through this. We actually have an article we're pulling from today. It's called The Tragic Tale of Wendy Williams, From Talk Show Queen to a Battle Against Dementia. Wow. Yeah. That says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. So let's really get into it. What can you tell us about, uh, you know, the kind of dementia she has? So Wendy's dealing with something called frontotemporal dementia. Okay. FTD for short. And primary progressive aphasia. It's a, uh, well, it's not like your typical Alzheimer's. <laughs> you see, with FTD, it really messes with the frontal and temporal lobes of the brain. Those parts are responsible for, you know, your personality, how you behave, and even your ability to use language. Oh, wow. As those parts of the brain start to, well, deteriorate, you see some pretty drastic changes. Like their personality might completely shift mm, yeah. and they'll have a really hard time understanding what others are saying and expressing themselves. Oh, that's gotta be so frustrating. Oh, absolutely. And then there's primary progressive aphasia. This one, it really zeroes in on your language skills, reading, writing, speaking. It all becomes a huge struggle. For Wendy, that's gotta be especially hard. Yeah. Her whole career was built on her wit and her ability to connect with people through words. So yeah, this diagnosis is a real blow. Definitely, and this whole situation, it's its brought a lot of unwanted attention her way. You know, mm. the public eye can be so unforgiving sometimes. For sure. And then there's that Lifetime docuseries, Where is Wendy Williams? Oh, right, I've heard about that. Yeah, it's supposed to be about her life after the diagnosis, but I don't know, the whole thing just feels wrong. Like, is it okay for them to profit off her like this? Yeah, there have been some serious ethical questions raised about that series. Her guardian is saying she couldn't even give proper consent because of her condition. Right, and the payment. They gave her something like $82,000, a drop in the bucket compared to what Lifetime's probably going to make. Seriously? Yeah. That's messed up. It really is. There was a whole legal battle over it. Her guardian tried to stop them from releasing it, arguing that they were exploiting her illness. But, well, the court sided with Lifetime, First Amendment rights and all that. Oh, freedom of speech. Always a tricky one. Exactly. It raises some really tough questions about where we draw the line. Like, how do we protect people who can't protect themselves, especially when it comes to something like this? I mean, the media has a long history of exploiting celebrities who are struggling. And we, the viewers, are part of that equation too, you know? It's easy to get caught up in the entertainment, but we gotta remember that there's a real person behind all of this. It's not just a story for our consumption. These are real lives, and it's important to be sensitive to that. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, it's just so heartbreaking to see the difference in her now. She's not that same Wendy we saw on TV. Right. It's like she's almost a different person. There have been times where she's been seen out in public, and it's just... It's worrying, you know? It really makes you think about the price of fame. Mm -hmm. Like how much are they entitled to? How much privacy did they deserve? Especially when they're going through something so difficult. It's a good question. A question we should all be asking ourselves really. It's a reminder that behind the glitz and glamor, these are human beings. They're vulnerable, just like the rest of us. Yeah. And Wendy's story, it's a reminder that life can change in an instant. One minute you're on top of the world and the next you're fighting a battle you never saw coming. Yeah. That's for sure. It's a call for empathy, for compassion, to remember that even those who seem larger than life are still human beings with their own struggles. And in a way, it's a wake-up call for all of us. We get so caught up in the celebrity of it all, but we need to remember that there are real people behind those headlines. Absolutely. We need to be more mindful, more sensitive, and I guess at the end of the day, Wendy's story is a reminder to be kind. Yeah. You never know what someone else is going through. That's some serious food for thought. Yeah. All right, well, that's our deep dive into the life and career of Wendy Williams. It's a story that's both fascinating and heartbreaking. And it leaves us with a lot to think about. Yeah, it does. About fame, about vulnerability, about our responsibility as viewers and as human beings. I think that's a good place to leave it. I agree. Until next time, thanks for listening. Thanks for having me. Take care. You too.